So have you seen any John Wick? Nope. You should. You Very haven't good. seen any of them? No. You, you said The Equalizer me. was a good movie and you haven't seen John Wick yet? Yeah, no. Oh, man. No, yeah, it's... Uh, Pretty good. It's very it's on good. Netflix too. So. It is. It is. It is. Um, how can I put this? It is movie defining in terms of action films. Hmm. Like it is. It is probably one of the best put together action Speaking films of, with sequences. After this, after this, yeah. But it's getting a TV show too. Which really that I'm not too. I'm not too hot on. The reason why John Wick's so great, not just because of There's like the story, it. not just that. It's just. The way that they do the action, you know, when you get big action scenes and the mo- cameras moving around, you don't know what's kind of going on, and it looks good, but it's not as good as it should look, yeah. and it's really close up. These ones with John Wick, a lot of them are wide shots and like one takes and one takes. Like we're talking, these guys memorize the sequence, and so you don't have shaky cam, and it looks so real and authentic. Obviously, there's some parts where they had to to, he to actually, work I remember on it. Uh, Keanu Reeves said he learned or learnt uh, the a red fight circle. Scene. The red circle red fight circle, scene, and he was like an entire under, twenty, almost twenty minute uh, fight sequence. He memorized it start to finish that day. Yeah, and he was under a fever, oh, like wow. a huge fever. Like he was. He, well, he not he didn't learn it that day. He memorized it, but that day he had a fever, and he still went. Like, man, that guy goes hard. Wow. Yeah, and it he was, does a lot of stunts too, doesn't he? He he did. I think they said seventy to eighty percent of his own stunts. Wow. And that's that's why it made it look so good because he knows how to do the stunts, and so when they're shooting it, they can Thank shoot you, wide because they don't have to. They don't have to close up the person's arms to someone else, to another stunt guy's arms and then pull it back, right? In Taken 3, for instance, this one's like an infamous thing. They have 11 totally shots sure. of Liam Neeson going over one fence. 11 shots for one fence because it was a different guy. So they had to piece together all of them. So it still kind of looks like Liam Neeson. John Wick is not like that. Plus the story is pretty awesome. So why wouldn't you just jump over the fence? He jumped over the fence. He, he was actually... leaping over the fence, but they, they took it in 11 shots. They edited it together 11 shots for him to do that. Jeez. Um, but anyways, the title for John Wick 3 is John Wick 3 Parabellum. And for those of you who are probably wondering what the hell for does Parabellum mean. those of you who are mean, incompetent swines who don't know French. It is part of a famous sentence, civis pacem parabellum, which translates as, and I probably said that wrong, if you want peace, prepare for war. And George mentioned that like two minutes ago, the title. But he says, do you guys think that John Wick will be killed in the third movie? Yes. I think he has to. I feel like a dog is going to kill him. Ultimate betrayal, full circle. I don't think a dog is going to kill him. <laughs> well, you don't know. Well, I don't, but I can I can pretty much guess. Yes, Julie Mitchell, Steve Ditko passed away. Sadly. Yeah. You mentioned that in the beginning. Rest be Steve Ditko. But anyway, so... But anyway, are we excited? Oh, you and I now we have to talk because Nick hasn't seen it, which, dude, you really... It, like I said, if you thought the Equalizer was good... It to watch Game of Thrones, guys. Just no, <laughs> I know, but you yesterday in the theater, the thing for Equalizer 2 came out, and I was kind of chuckling. You're like, but it's so good. But now you're sitting here telling me that you haven't seen John Wick. And you're, 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 the foundation on which you're so good is built on is crumbling. Who did I see Equalizer with? Was me. that with you? Oh, guys? no, you didn't see it with us. No. We didn't go see that one in the theater. You probably did. You go to the theater? Or I did, did you... go to the theater. Really? I, I did. I go with. I don't even know. Oh, very cool. Equalizer. Yeah. But... Yesterday was one of the first times in months I never had popcorn either at the movie. I Completely didn't... random thought. I was not into doing anything yesterday. So, I'll hide for it. I probably. I don't Keep know. Going. I guess. I guess I think we'll end up seeing it in theaters. I don't know if you will. You, if you watch the first two, you'll like it. Yeah. I uh, think you'll really like it, um, especially after watching Game of Thrones. Uh, but yeah, I don't know. I feel like I'm not really, I'm not extremely hyped for it. I need to see some trailers. Hello, Jazzy for Peeny. And hello, Ben Johnson. Oh, famous runner. Hello, Ben Johnson. <laughs> I think the five underscores kind of give him away. That's not Ben Johnson. Oh, damn. Hello, David Sierra. He hasn't said hi, but I'm saying hi first. Uh, I'm hyped. I guess we'll see it together. I still need to see War of the Planet of the Apes. Very Random good. thought. I don't know why that came to my head, but I really want to see it. Very good. Yeah, I already got spoiled how it ends. But I'm no. super excited for John Wick three though. I'm I love the first one. I, I love the John second Wick one. Awesome, like Arkham style. No, you know how you need to do it. Um, if you were gonna do John Wick, you'd have to do it in the vein of Sleeping Dogs. You ever play Sleeping Dogs? Uh, I think it was in the PS3. I've heard. I know what it, I think. I've heard um, it. Very good. Like it is a fun ass game. Is that like and a GTA thing? Kind of. Yeah, and it's set in Japan. You're an undercover cop, and the, just the moves and the way the fight sequences go. Like I could see the guys that made Sleeping Dogs do a John Wick game. However, 
the way that John Wick 2 ended, which I won't spoil for you, I thought was just so good because then you're left like, oh, oh my God. Also, do you think that this, because the movies both have like went back to back pretty much. Yes. So do you think this one will be set like immediately after? Or 100%. Like, yeah. I like that. Yeah, because when we last left them off, he's on the run. You don't know what he was on the run for from. It's such a great sequence, like how it just ended up leading us to that ending. I, I was, yeah.